In today's video, I'm going to be taking my most normal, boring pair of jeans that I have in my closet. And not only am I turning those into the perfect pair of jean shorts for the summer, I'm also going to be adding a streetwear skeleton design that's going to make you stand out from the crowd. Y'all boys, buckle up, get ready for some fun, and let's get right into it. The first thing that we're going to need is going to be a pair of scissors. Keeping it real simple, nine times out of ten, you have a pair of scissors laying around your house. But this is what we're going to be using to transform the jeans into jean shorts. Next up, we have this white eyeliner. This can be replaced with a white color pencil, a white marker, anything that can lay down a white sketch and that can be washed away later works perfectly fine this is just going to get into the sketching process later when i get into that custom skeleton design revealing our secret weapon for the video is going to be bleach this is what i'm going to be using to act as the paint applying the skeleton bones to the shorts this is going to give it a rugged streetwear type feel rather than a clean cut look of a white paint lastly but obviously the most important is going to be your jeans now i suggest these to be from a slim fit to a baggy fit i would stay away from skinny jeans because after you cut them into shorts you don't want them to look like capris you want them to look like shorts so slim fit to baggy style jean black or blue whichever one you prefer let's dive right into it turning these jean pants into jean shorts what i did to measure out how much i was going to cut off was i put on the jean measured out where my knee was and cut a little slit i'm not sure where the footage went for that part of the video but y'all gonna have to trust me so i chose to go a little bit above the knee just so i can show off my knee tattoos a little bit but you can choose either above or below besides that all you have to do is flatten out the jeans cut straight across and see all the way through and repeat on the other side Now we're on to the sketch. I end up switching out the white liner for a white color pencil, but like I said, it's interchangeable. I have a skeleton design over to my side and immediately I get to work. But as y'all see, my crayon and gave out on me. <laughs> but we're gonna keep it pushing. All I'm doing is getting those proportions and getting the design on the pants, whatever feels comfortable for me. But one thing that I do wanna note is that there is not a perfect looking design. And what I mean by that, especially freehanding, everybody's gonna have a little personality to it. Nobody's gonna look exactly the same, but that's the beauty of it because it's a DIY, it's a custom, and you can go out knowing nobody has the same exact drawers that you have. This is how the final sketch on our first side is looking. Now all we gotta do is repeat on the next side. Moving on to the real deal, y'all. Now we laying down the bleach. I start off by choosing where I want to start, doing the outline first, and just making my way with the bleach all the way around the outline. You know, just basically just tracing the sketch that you did. That's why I really do recommend doing your sketch first because it gives you a guideline to follow. Now, this part is the most important, but it's also really the most straightforward. You're basically just painting, filling in the spaces, but just know that this is a process. Like, it takes a while. Even when you put down the bleach, it takes a while for it to actually show up. So don't get discouraged or don't think it's not working. Just give it a little time the bleach will show up just go through and make sure that you're covering everything thoroughly and expect to go over it multiple times to actually get that bleach packed in there So I end up upgrading to a bigger brush to make it easier on myself, you know what I'm saying, filling the spaces a lot easier. Also around this time, as y'all noticed, there's some like bleach dots or circles. That's some of the spots that I put down the brush first and then drag the bleach. But you will find out later that eventually it won't be that bad once you get all the bleach in there. So you're gonna be fine regardless, but if you do wanna avoid it altogether, just make sure that you tap out a lot of the excess bleach. Here's a look at the right side done. As you see, the bleach came out amazing. It was definitely a long process, but now we gotta do the exact same thing to the other side. Next step after the bleaching is going to be the wash. Now, I live in an apartment, so I'm not going to go to a wash interior to wash these shorts. But if you have a washer at your house, you can just throw them in there on cold, let it wash, and then dry after. But for me, I got to do it the hard way.
day two. seen the shorts came out so fire if i would say so myself this is how it's looking right now off of the body obviously it's not gonna be exactly perfect but it's perfect to me because we customize this on our own is a perfect cheap alternative to the minimal skeleton shorts hopefully this tutorial was helpful for y'all and y'all follow it. make y'all own shorts and if y'all do go ahead and send it down to me and my instagram is in the description but hey man if y'all enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe for more content coming from your boy because i try to post every week so content is always flowing it's been your boy key and i'm out man